Hey guys, uh, this is Astro Funk here with another tutorial for you. Uh, today I wanted to talk about sampling from loops. I originally started doing this because my one buddy Prower, who's a who's a good producer, he's, he kind of works this way. He'll take loops and then just take a sound from each loop and then build his percussion that way. So just to start off, I'll show you what I did with this song and then I'll break down this channel, this channel, and this channel, which I basically use loops to fill in the song. So here we go. So basically for this intro section, I'll go over this first loop. I put an EQ on it to kind of make it sound lo-fi, but this is what the original sounds like. There you go. And you put this on. And then I just basically edited it to sound better in the song. So I took some parts out that I didn't like. And then I did a little reverse there and kind of broke it up again just to break the redundancies. And it fills in nicely. It's a nice accent to the rest of the song for the intro. So the next section I'm going to go on to with these other loops, there's actually a lot more to see. Um, and I use less components for each of these. So the first one I'll go to is this one, which I basically just took the hat out of this. And I you could tell that I re-edited it just to fill in. Like these ones are kind of triplets, I think, over here. I can't tell. Um, but let's just take a listen to it. So I basically went in there in the clip view, which in this one you probably can't see because I consolidated it after after I re-edited it up here. But basically now you just have your hat, and I put reverb and delay on it. Um, the next loop, though, you, you will actually see a difference, and I you can see in the clip view what I had done as well. Um, so this is what the original for this one sounds like. And I only wound up using a little bit of this loop. So here's what it sounds like in the song. You can see all I did was use uh, the envelope and I just modulated the volume, which you can select down here. And I used the pencil tool and just took out what I didn't want. And that was what I was left with. And then this is a MIDI loop I made. And this kind of gives, these two have an interesting um, they work together like well in this song. So if you just hear them soloed together. So if you didn't have that. So if you mix these together and hear all your percussion with your kick and your snare, this is what comes out all together. So like I said, um, working with loops for me is becoming a much bigger part of my workflow. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's something to look into, try out. It might not work for you and you might just like sticking to MIDI, but it also, you, you definitely can get some more interesting grooves that you might have not thought of because of the way maybe the placement of a sound is in the loop and you just maybe just use that one sound. Uh, so hopefully this helps and it gives you some more creative ideas to start working on stuff. And like I said, um, my buddy Prower showed me this, so I'm going to put his info in the notes too if you'd like to hear some of his music. And uh, if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave them down below. All right, thanks.